So yes, 15 mil February. How did I get on? Not very well is the short answer. Um, as you'll probably have seen from um, the lack of other videos following the kickoff video I did at the start of the month, um, I was planning on doing some here's how I painted this sort of thing videos, but didn't get around to it. Basically, other gaming projects intervened as opposed to just life getting in the way. Um, the need to uh, get some World War II up, stuff up together for a, um, a bolt action evening at the club, the need to paint some Napoleonics for a group effort towards a big club game we're having shortly after Easter. Um, my friend Barry and I are playing in some Lion Rampant, uh, or we're playing Lion Rampant campaign at the moment, so I wanted to get a few models ready for that. So the short answer is other gaming stuff intervened on my desire to have this month themed as 15 mil February. I did manage to get some done, however, so here's a little look at how I've got on. Yeah, so here's the base of uh, 30 Years War Swedes that I did. Um, <clears throat> I inadvertently uploaded them as a video, just a turntable shot like this, um, intending to upload them as, um, as a short, but... Uh, <clears throat> technical cluts that I clearly was at the time, they ended up as a normal, in inverted commas, video on my um, feed. I'll just leave it there. But for tonight's purposes, inclusion in this uh, How I Got On video, um, yeah, 30 Years War Swedes. They're uh, based for Two King and Parliament with a 15 mil, 15 centimetre, I should say, grid in mind. Um, typical battalia with uh, two sleeves of uh, musketeers either side of a pike block. The figures are nearly all the Warlord Epic Scale um, Pike and Shot models with the addition of four normal, inverted commas, 15mm models from Peter Pig, whose ranges in various periods for 15mm I'm very impressed with, actually, having heard about them so much over the years and uh, not actually brought anything for them until recently. The four Peter Pig models are the two um, Musketeers, on that, that one there, and then the same on the other end of those same rows. Um, the chaps holding the flags and the one in front of them. They mix in very well with these Warlord Epic figures, which are a touch on the small side compared to normal 15mm models. But I like them. And I enjoy painting this as well. I did my normal um, way of doing things, or most of the things that I do, and with a pale undercoat, pre-shade with Agrax Earthshade, or something similar as a brown wash, and then just picked out some detail. Um, I shall definitely be doing some more of these again. Um, my friend Roger has an extensive 15 mil collection for 30 Years War, and he was showing using that to show me um, the rules for to King and Parliament. So uh, hopefully there'll be a bit more of that on the horizon. I might even dip my toe in another rule set or two for the period. But certainly I enjoyed it, and it, um, I may get round to doing ECW, either in this scale or perhaps in 28 mil, because a lot of my club mates play that. But for now, I'm enjoying this at this scale. Are we coming back to it soon? Next up, some 15mm uh, early French Napoleonics. These are all Essex miniatures. Um, I've always fancied uh, doing an early French army because I quite enjoyed the reading I've done on Napoleon's early campaigns, like his 1796 campaign in Italy. Um, and also, I just aesthetically like the look of French infantry wearing bike horns. Um, these are from the very nice uh, Essex Miniatures range, of which I used to have an extensive collection of um, in several periods back in the 1990s. But yes, enjoyed painting these. I will be doing a painting video as to how I painted them um, uh, relatively shortly. But uh, to summarise, dark undercoat, um, a dry brush of an off-white over it, leaving the dark showing in the recesses, then um, picked out details of the appropriate colours, mostly contrast, and a uh, bit of varnish on the top. Very simple to do, and it took, um, well, not very long at all. And I, I, I think for mass battles, Napoleonics at 15 mil do look good. Um, these are specifically made for um, the uh, game La Salle, well, I mean, they could clearly be used for other rule sets, but um, I know a few friends of mine play 15 mil Napoleonics with black powder um, that I've played a lot of 28 mil stuff at. But um, my friend Roger introduced me to the LaSalle rules recently, and I quite enjoyed it. It'll take another couple of goes for the, well, for it all to sink in. I won't just say the niceties. 
Um, I've had one game, and that was a while ago. So um, I'm looking forward to it next time Roger and I get together, perhaps having another game. My aim is to, together with the Bavarians I've got, have two or three brigades of infantry, one or two brigades of cavalry, and some supporting artillery, and then see if I want to uh, take the collection beyond that, just to have a small force to gain LaSalle with. But there we go. Well, here we go. Um, just a few more uh, French Napoleonic bits. In this case, two bases of artillery to make up a battery for LaSalle. Um, I suppose for the same reasons I like making command bases for whatever scale and period, it, um, it enables you to make a little vignette on the base, doesn't it? Something nice about doing that with command bases and artillery. But still, there we go. To go with the uh, infantry you saw just now, um, I might have perhaps another battery of these and some Bavarians to go with the Bavarians I have. Um, but we'll see. It's certainly a project that's um, some way down the queue in priority terms, but uh, an enjoyable one nonetheless. So yeah, there you have it. Some 30 years all Swedes. I, might, I may at some stage in the future return to that and do um, ECW as well. But uh, for now, I'll keep on with the Swedes when I've got time to carry on with it for 30 years walk. So I can join in with my friend Roger playing um, the King in Parliament. Um, what else? Oh, yes, there was the uh, French that I've done, early French Napoleonics. Sadly, didn't get time to rebase um, the Bavarians I rediscovered I still had recently. Um, but that'll be coming up shortly, too. So, yeah, the, what, what little I did do on the original theme for the month, I'm quite pleased with. Um, it's just a shame that I didn't um, didn't get any more done. I'll leave you with a few more turntable shots of some other 15mm stuff I've got bubbling away that I might add to. And um, would welcome any current comments and so on. But uh, meanwhile, thanks for watching. And uh, what I will start doing is postpone the themed months for a while until at least April, which I have something in mind for and beaver away on some project work that I've got coming up, you know, carrying on with Lion Rampant and uh, uh, the Napoleonic thing I've got going on for uh, for the gaming club. And I will show you a progress updates on that. If anybody, you know, likes something that I've painted in particular, would like to know more about how I painted it, feel free to uh, message me in the comments below and I'll um, have some more videos up soon. Thanks for watching. Now, I mentioned earlier in this video that um, I was going to also show some 15 mil models that I'd already done, but that were for projects coming up. Now, I painted these sort of towards the end of last year, sort of late summer, early autumn last year, um, with the intention of perhaps trying out the water tanker rules, which my friend Barry and I are yet to do, actually, but we will do at some stage. But also, recently at the club, um, some gentlemen that I am friendly with were playing a Chain of Command, World, uh, the World War II game. Now, I, back in the day, many years ago, used to play Rapid Fire, and I'm keen to try the Rapid Fire Reloaded uh, version of it uh, at some stage. And I'm lucky to be uh, attend the same War Games Club as Don McHugh, who um, you know, writes many a rule and a scenario for that game, and is uh, a bit of a guru on it. But um, I also play a lot of bold action. But uh, Chain of Command is a game I hear a lot about. So I'd be interested to hear your comments, actually. But these thanks, originally for Water Tanker. I've also recently brought some 15mm US infantry. Um, I'll paint them up quickly and see how I get on. Um, I've not spent a lot of money on it, simply because I've not tried the game very much. But um, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. I'm not sure if I've shown these on my channel before. I know I have elsewhere on my social media for bite-sized wargaming. But here are some Lansnax Arquebusiers from the very lovely Blue Moon stroke Old Glory um, 15 mil range. They're certainly, certainly verging on the larger side and le leaning more towards being 18 mil in inverted commas. Now, sometimes Lansnax uh, models, given their colourful nature, that would fill the potential painter with dread, and, you know, I'm, I'm one of them. But, you know, my normal method of painting things with a pale undercoat and then a brown sort of pre-shade wash lent itself very well to having details picked out and just applying some contrast colours and then other details and perhaps judicious application of white on some stripes. Um... That certainly helps. I mean, accentuated detail like the puffy sleeves of a Landsnack uniform and so on lends itself very well to painting. So, yes, enjoy painting these chaps. 
Um, some friends of mine at my gaming club play um, Reg or Renato, Renatio or Renatio, whatever it is, at Glorium. Um, I keep promising to sort of perch on their shoulders whilst they're playing next time to get a feel for the game. Um, but it's, it's, again, it's a priority. It's not a priority project, but um, it's something I look forward to having to go at at some stage in the future. I certainly enjoy painting these models and I'm looking forward to painting more very soon. So yes, there you have it. Not as much painted as I perhaps intended, um, or you know, models as I intended for this 15 mil February, but um, like I said, other projects intervened. But I will certainly be looking forward to doing more of these as I can. There'll certainly be some infantry to go with these tanks on the way very soon. But what's taken priority at the moment is um, gaming projects, for, um, sorry, painting projects for games that I've actually got on the go or very soon on the horizon. Um, Chief amongst which is the Lion Rampant campaign I'm playing with my friend Barry, my uh, Arthurians with a few Celtic stroke picked stroke local nutcase, whatever you want to call them, allies, um, taking on some late Romans in, uh, in a campaign we've got going on there. Very enjoyable so far. Um, and just after Easter, my gaming club is putting on a big black powder game. Um, uh, showcasing Delon's attack on the Allied left at Waterloo. Um, I've been asked to provide the uh, Hanoverian Militia Brigade that made up the extreme left flank of the Allied Army. Um, and I had most of the models on hand for that, which um, I'm nearly all the way through painting. Um, just got to finish that off and uh, base them all up nicely as my contribution to the big club project. And who knows, I may be tempted back into the black powder 28 mil Napoleonic fold. Um, it's something that I've parked for an hour as an interest, given that uh, I've got so many other games on the go. But there we go. Um, gaming intervening in theme plans. I'll shelve the theming and carry on with my projects and showcase them as I go. And then when it comes as far as April, I have a particular plan in mind that um, I'm going to return to the theming of for a project and a period that's long been a, a long been a love of mine that I'm looking forward to actually playing. But anyway, I'll uh, speak to you all soon. Thank you very much for watching. Any comments, questions, etc., please leave them in the comments below. Thanks.